Today, I want to share with you a beautifully simple recipe for a Greek style stewed green bean. One pot, vegan, and very, very delicious. Ready in less than half an hour, which makes this ideal for any weeknight. So, to start us off, first things first, gonna do a little olive oil in our pot here. And this is a part of a ladero series or a ladero type of food. So it's gonna take at least a quarter to a third of a cup of Greek extra virgin olive oil. Then I'm gonna do uh, an onion. And you can basically coarsely chop this. You can slice this, whatever. Uh, your skills are is totally fine. There you go, perfect, just like that. So, I'm going to take our onions, and there's that sizzle that I love. Throw them in there. Very, very uncomplicated uh, recipe. Minimum effort, maximum flavor. And that's what this, uh, the whole name of the game is here. Juice it up a little bit. I'm gonna take a couple cloves of garlic and I'm not exactly going to, uh, you know, finely chop them. You don't need to, you could if you want to. All I'm gonna do is with the skins on, or you can just peel them off like that, whichever works. Once this garlic hits the oil, it'll start releasing its flavors and that's, basically what it's there for. Next thing going in, a little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper, well a little bit for me anyway. I like doing a little heat to my recipes so I'm going to throw in just a little bit of red chili flake. This is totally optional. If you can want this you could do this. If you don't that's fine too. Now with this Another quick little stir. This is all about nature and flavor and freshness. You can use canned tomatoes, you can use frozen tomatoes. In this case, it's tomato season. If you're like me and you got like a bunch of tomatoes in your garden you don't know what to do with and people are like, you know, gifting them to you as well, in which case you have like 70 pounds of tomatoes, this recipe will work. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll show you a little trick. I'm going to grate my tomatoes, but before I do, I haven't bothered removing the skin. I'm just going to take at the bottom a little X, just like that. What does this do? What it does is, as we grate our tomato, it pushes out the skin and leaves the pulp in there and the skin off it on hand, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now watch this. See what I mean? I'm left now with just the skin. And the same deal will apply it to all of my tomatoes here. I'm just going to do a little X, a little X, nothing, uh, nothing complicated at all. Oh, this one, it looks like it's got a little bit of bottom issues here. So we'll just cut that away and just keep grating them. All right, so that's perfect. My tomatoes have been grated. I've got about a cup, cup and a half of uh, tomato pulp in here, which is absolutely fantastic. The next thing I'm gonna do is add the star of our show, which is our beans. These beans here are from my garden. It's an assortment of yellow beans, green beans. I'm gonna use about four cups of fresh beans. Well, the same applies actually to frozen. But do about four cups of beans here, just like that. And what will happen is these will release some of their own liquid. And that's, that's a good thing. But to help speed things up, I'm also going to add about a cup of water. So I don't want to add too much water to this because A, the tomatoes have water in them. And B, so do the beans. One final thing before I close this off to let it simmer down, I'm going to add a little oregano. Dried Greek oregano always makes everything so good. And again, you don't need much to this, not much at all. 
maybe half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, just to give you that background there. Perfect. And some fresh parsley. Again, chop this. You don't have to go too, too super fine. Do whatever you're comfortable with in terms of your level of knife skills. And you can do the stalks and all. That's fine. That is totally fine. And by the way, this method here is the absolute safest method to do when you're, uh, when you're chopping and you're cutting, especially when you're not kind of really sure of yourself or your skills. Best way to go about this. That's perfect. Throw that in there as well. Now this will come up to a boil and simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes, in which case our meal will be absolutely done. All right, my fasolatia are ready to go. And in here, the aroma is absolutely delightful. It's the beans and the fresh tomatoes really do make a difference. It is absolutely crazy. So now let's do what I do best and let's try these out. They're absolutely done to perfection. They're not too watery either. You don't want watery, runny, you know, beans and everything. It's just not good. Mmm. They're so good. They're cooked tender, but not like mush. Flavor of the fresh parsley. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 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 A vegan main or a side, my friends, it is absolutely fantastic. So that's it for this episode on my fasoletia with freshly uh, grated tomato in them. Makes all the difference. An absolutely simple and delicious recipe. You can do any time. Half an hour, start to finish, and you are absolutely done. Very, very, very delicious. It's a great family recipe and it goes with just about anything. You can put these beans on their own as a vegan main, like I said, or you can do them with beef, pork, chicken, fish. They're an excellent side. So until next time, I thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Hope you liked this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. For this recipe and so many others, check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other and keep cooking. Much love. Bye for now.